Welcome to the truth. Today we'll discuss some stories relating to naked whales, sewer pipes, and learn how cats are becoming quite popular amongst children. Both stories and more featured tonight on our show. I'm Drew Orlock, and alongside me is David Gold and Elia Abrams. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the truth. A new drug is affecting our nation's school children. Cat videos are a new and powerful hallucinogenic that kids are accessing through friends and the internet. With the click of a button, children believe that the thousands of colored pixels in front of them are actually hilarious cats performing adorable feats of feline behavior. If you notice your child giggling uncontrollably at their cell phone, they may already have an addiction. Studies have proven the best method for helping your child to quit is by sending them an unfunny cat video on their Facebook page for all their friends to see. The embarrassment of receiving Funny Cats Cats compilation from a parent will instantly curb a child's desire to ingest the material. The new documentary, Under the Surface, has revealed shocking truths about the treatment of killer whales at SeaWorld and other marine-based theme parks, causing uproar amongst animal rights groups around the world. It has come to our attention that these whales are being forced by trainers to perform completely naked every day in front of countless amounts of people. Animal rights activist Marissa Abelson told reporters at the film screening, these majestic creatures are required time and again to swim naked out in front of crowds of thousands, perform humiliating tricks entirely in the buff, and then expose their bare bodies to men, women, and children by repeatedly breaching their tanks. Abelson went on to say how even after the shows, the whales are not permitted to cover up and are placed into solitary confinement, forced to float around in the nude all night. When reached for comment, a spokesman representing SeaWorld said the film completely misinterprets their orca programs, namely due to the fact that trainers work tirelessly to promote a positive body image for whales and occasionally allow shire orcas to perform in jeans. The crap hit the fan today in Washington when a brave sewage pipe sacrificed itself, nobly bursting, flooding the entire Senate and House of Representatives in over 1.5 million gallons of raw sewage, sludge, and human excrement. A witness says someone or something had to step up and fight for the American people. And when I heard that explosion, and then saw congressman after congressman get swept up by a massive wave of raw sewage, I knew that pipe had done something truly brave and extraordinary. There's been talk about the salvageable bits of the pipe getting the Medal of Honor for its heroic actions and for giving our elected officials the wake-up call they need. Sources say Senator Ted Cruz was only visible around his eyes where he had wiped away the human waste before resigning away to a life away from the public eye. Well, it's almost Thanksgiving and you know what that means. Crying into my turkey sandwich alone while watching gifted athletes who are younger than me making more money than me by crashing into each other on the football field. Thanksgiving is a wonderful time for friends to get together and prove that they're really friends and not just work acquaintances. Right, David? It's a time for news anchor buddies to watch football together and talk about guy stuff. I'm not having Thanksgiving with you, Elliot. It was worth a try. <laughs> the St. Louis Cardinals took a crushing loss after the Boston Red Sox won for World Series in a 6-1 victory. As magic happened for the great city of Boston for the past week, the fans of the Cardinals cried as they lost their chance for payback for the sequel to what happened after the 2004 World Series. Fans of the evil empire, also known as the New York Yankees, also cringed after their main rival in Boston took for a commissioner's trophy. Sorry, New York. It's not our fault that the Cardinals didn't help cure your egos. Congrats, Red Sox. Putney resident David Gold joins an online dating site this past week. The self-described spontaneous, down-to-earth, and just a little bit quirky student evidently loves biking and hanging out with his friends, but is equally happy just hanging around the house with a good book or nerding out with some Battlestar Galactica. David's profile pic um, includes pictures with captions such as me and Ashley at Hogwarts in Orlando and reigning karaoke champs. Sources confirm that Mr. Gold has positive feelings towards dogs. So if you're a fun-loving gal in the Putney area and you're looking for a very lonely newscaster to curl up with and watch science fiction, then log on to Matt.com to meet me and my 12 other profiles. From all of us here at the station, we wish you would go out on a date with me. Landmark College has made many changes over its short existence, but none like the most recent transition. The college will give way to form a new clown college. New classes will include avoiding adulthood, 
gags and gaffes, makeup, how to pull homework out of various crevices, and seltzer spritzing. So far, students say, I like the change. I think it will lead to many more job opportunities than I had before. Other remarks included, Look, dude, I don't care what they do here as long as I don't have to live with my parents. At press time, the first student was declaring their intention to graduate with a degree in liberal farts. Common sense dictates that teenagers shouldn't be involved in sexual relationships. After all, it's not like they need children during high school. However, doctors say that they should also have access to cheap condoms along with them being accompanied by sex education programs. In other words, we should be teaching children that there is no love without a glove. Dr. Rebecca O'Brien says, the biggest difference is that we have more evidence uh, about how effective they are against and sexually transmitted diseases. That's right, kids. Condoms are the first and foremost protection against HIV, STD, and cooties. However, on the other hand, condoms fail at preventing pregnancy in about 2% of couples, even if applied perfectly. In other words, if you're in it for a pleasure, and no child, you should use other methods alongside condoms, like birth control pills. After all, why would you want a kid before your late 20s? So in a nutshell, don't be silly, protect your willy, or don't do it at all. You should probably be wearing rubber. You won't be any cooler without it. Thank you for tuning into The Truth, brought to you by the Broadcast Journalism Class at Landmark College. Good night.